Hello everyone, welcome to Peebo channel. I'm so super happy to meet you all in Cybersecurity Lab building series. So this is the Cybersecurity Lab architecture which we discussed in the introduction video. So today we are going to set up Proxmox. Proxmox is a, one of the hypervisor and it is an open source platform for enterprise virtualization. It comes with the inbuilt web interface so that you can easily create, manage VM and containers and multiple out of box tools on a single solution. Before we start the installation, let's understand what is virtualization and why it is required. Single physical computer or server into divided into a several virtual machines. Each virtual machine can interact independently and run different operating systems or application while sharing the resource of single host machine. By creating a multiple resource from a single computer or server, virtualization improve the scalability and less infrastructure costs and maintenance. So hypervisor basically I have a hardware which is I have a more powerful server which is have a 64 GB RAM and I have a terabyte of storage and I have a more core CPUs. So using the virtualization, I can virtualize the hardware out of 64 GB. I can assign few RAMs and few resources and I can install some operating systems and over that operating system, I can run op applications. So using the virtualization technique, I can run a multiple VMs on the same uh, architecture and I can run a different applications. So basically I'm virtualizing the hardware and uh, with this help of virtualization, I can reduce the cost and maintenance offer. So now we start installing Proxmox. So to install Proxmox, go to proxmox.website, go to the download. I'll be giving the link in the description. Go to the Proxmox virtualization environment and click ISO image. And the latest version is 7.2 at the time of recording so and start downloaded once you download image use rufus software to convert the pen drive into a bootable or if you have any other virtualizations uh, hardware or virtualization software you can directly upload the isos and you can do it on it i have downloaded the iso and converted the pen drive into a bootable if you have any queries or facing issue on converting the pen drive into a bootable, please reach out to me via Telegram or Discord or comment below this video. Let's go and quickly start installation. So let's go and enter. The Proxmox loading is started. So it's fletching the IP from the DSAP pool. So IP is allocated for it. So I agree to the terms and conditions. So you have to select the hard disk. What you in my case, it is a virtual hard disk. So I'm just selecting on it. If you have a physical, just select the physical hard disk where you're going to install it and click next, click next. And the password you can give it plus just ensure you remember this password to log in. Uh, if you forgot it, we have to reinstall this Proxmox. So please give a secure password and note this password in your password manager. The email address you can give if you have any email address you can give it on it in my case i'm just giving and uh, you can have a valid host names host you can put it on it so here i'm just putting on fever.pv dot and ip address is 10.10.1.13 and the subnet mask is 27. So let's quickly uh, see what is ip and what is subnet so that it will give you a clarity on it and also helpful when you setting up IP address is a device that connect on the internet. 
so that the data sent over the internet to reach the right devices out of billions of devices connected to the internet. While computer read IP address as a binary code, the IP address is basically your house address. So if I'm sending a letter to you, so it need to know the letter is come from source to destination. So that is why IP address is required on it. And in case uh, subnet, what is actually doing it is IP subnet allow you to create a multiple logical network that exists within a single class. So there are three classes are there, class A, class B and class C network. There are so many reasons why we subnet. It helps in the prevention of address space in order to wasting the address. So that when we subnet it, we will not waste the address. So that because otherwise you'll be running in a shortage of IP address. That's why we are doing a subnet so that to avoid the waste of addresses. And also it's used for security. And finally, it helps to control the network traffic due to the collisions of packet transmit from other node on the same segment. You can use a subnet calculator. Uh, again, this is an online calculator. I'll be giving the link in the description. So it's a much a useful uh, subnet calculator is useful on it so that you can give your IP address and uh, based on your requirement. For example, in my case, I'm just going needed only just uh, 14 machines. So I'm just taking off. In your case, if you have a more machines, you need to have it. You have a more resource servers, you need to do it. Based on that, you can allocate. For example, if I wanted, I have, I want to create almost 62 VMs. So I can give this one. So automatically it will select the subnet mask and it gives the starting address and ending address of it. I'll be giving the link in the description for the IP4 subnetting cheat sheet. You can use this uh, cheat sheet for your uh, understanding. Uh, it will be more useful on it. And I'm just using this tool and this sheet for a longer period of time in my networks and security platforms. So it'll be quite interesting. So I'm happy to share with you guys. So let's go back to the installation. The gateway is I'm just putting the DNS servers I'm just giving on it. So I'm just changing the DNS servers to my Cloudflare. Uh, you, here you can change your uh, subnets and IP address you can change it on it. 10.10.1.i just given and uh, the gateway I given is 10.1.1 and the DNS I have given it. Click next and uh, automatically just giving a summary of it what is and all. So automatically reboot after yes, you can do it and start the installation. So the installation is started. So let's wait for now it's creating the partition. Let me fast forward the videos so that the installation will get completed quickly. Okay, so now we have uh, installed successfully. So to log in, you have to use that the username is root and the password which we set it. Okay, and uh, to take the Proxmox web console, you have to use the above IP. Uh, in my case, it's a uh, 10.10.1.13 and the port number is 8006. Uh, so it depends upon your uh, what IP you are setting over there. So you'll be getting on it, but port number will be same. Uh, if you want, you can change the port number. Uh, but I'm just keeping it as a default. 
so now what let go and quickly check for any update is there so, uh, to check for update sudo update So it's checking for the uh, updates so that always keep the hypervisor up to date so that the latest features we will be get it and if there is a, any security vulnerabilities are there it will be fixed on the rollouts so always keep the hypervisor in up to date okay so the packages are uh, updated exit from this so IP address is HTTPS 10.10.1.13. The IP is 1.13 and the port number is 8006. So you'll be getting this is because of self sign. So I'll give advance and accept the risk and continue. So here also you need to give the same thing username is root. The password what you created initial the configuration click ok so now we are in the proxmox web console so here you can create a vms and everything and all and even you can uh, from the summary you can see like uh, what is the ram is utilization so cpus and other things availabilities and you can do a monitoring part from here as well so we have successfully configured proxmox in this episode in my next episode i'll be showing how to create a vm in the proxmox and setting up the pf sense if you have any questions please comment below or reach out to me via discord server or telegram platform if you think this video is useful please consider giving a like and sharing show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel Follow me on the social media for the channel update. Thank you all. Bye now. Take care.